Uh, hi, this is how the Forces um, PRM maps work. Uh, so I have this open in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, well, you're going to need a tool to uh, act to be able to act to. You're going to need a tool that's able to access each color channel of a of a picture. So in Photoshop, you want to go over to Channels, and you'll see you know your your RGB, and then you'll see the red, the green, and the blue. So for these maps, the red stores the metallic map. I believe that you have to, I believe that you have to invert this. Um, so we're going to paste that in paint.net. I've gone through this process already, so I do have the file saved. But, you know, for people who don't, you know, here you go. So green is smoothness. So we're going to first off save this one as a, well actually, I think you'll want to invert it. And what I was doing here was I was hitting Control A and then Control C to copy it and then paste <coughs> pasting it with Control V. I figured I would I was figuring that was obvious, but if it wasn't, well, there you go. So I'm going to save this as the metallic map. Um, for green, you're just going to copy this, save it as smoothness, and if you need a roughness thing for like if you're doing a Blender render, you just go to uh, Invert colors, and there you go. You get you get the you get the roughness. So for the blue channel, you want to save that as occlusion, which is like a shading effect. They bake it in, and uh, it makes models look way better, like you know, nicer shading wise. But uh, yeah, that's basically how the PRM maps work. So that's why everything's pink, because it's a big combination of green, red, and blue, and it's weird. But yeah, I hope that was easy to follow through with.